Hello, hello, my friends. This is the Heart Pirates TCG here, and I have a lot of content planned for this week. I actually wanted to reschedule a couple things because I wanted to get this video out. I am going to review both of the game, or I'm sorry, a couple games that I played in this online regionals. I was playing Law, and I wanted to go over, I won this game, it was a Law Mirror match, I wanted to go over and highlight some things I did well, and I'm going to review this game against Rebecca that I lost um, in my final round before I dropped, I went 3-3, three and three, um, that I literally could have won if I played it just a little bit better, and I'm going to go ahead and point out all my mistakes on each of these videos if I see it, um, but I want to highlight the ones that I did well on this video, and then highlight what I did well in the next video and then what I did wrong, okay? Um, so without with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and mute this and we're going to go over this game. Now this is a little bit of a slower game, I will say, um, because it is a law mirror match, okay? And uh, maybe I might skip this a little bit. Let me see uh, how... Let me see how long it takes me. Okay, cool. So we are at the beginning of the game. We are started. I start out with a Nami, okay? And I... Don't have anything else. I think, I don't know if I kept this or I mulliganed this. I don't remember. Um, but this guy has a swagged out deck. I mean, he has, you know, obviously like the $300 leader uh, law. And then he has the, like, you know, obviously all art Bonnie. Or I'm sorry, Nami. And it's going to search for a winner, uh, Brooke. And he has, you know, winner uh, Bonnie's, winner Nami's. Like he is just swagged out. I think he has treasure cup choppers too. Um, yep, and then we see the winner, the winner Nami right there. So, real quick, guys, I was very disappointed with myself in this in this tournament um, because well, one, I played when I was a little bit hungover, which was definitely not good. Um, but I was really disappointed in myself because I drew relatively well um, the whole day, and I had an opportunity to beat Rebecca to put myself at four and two, and all I had to do was win two more games, and I would make at least top 64, maybe top 32 as X2. And um, I, I really just, I screwed myself. And I was very upset about it because I, I, you know, I coach people and I tell people, you know, how to play the right cards and, you know, what to do in certain situations. And when I get to it, you know, when I smell blood in the water, sometimes I, I, I jump the gun and overextend and it costs me games. And I get upset at myself because I know, I know better than that. And I always ruin it. Um, so back to the game, um, I played Dadon to search Nami. Nami's going to search for me a guard point, which is going to come up much later on in the game, um, and I'll pass my turn. And guys, what's really important is, what's really important also is in the Law Mirror match, you have to keep track of your deck, right? You know, the cards at the bottom of your deck, and then you also have to keep track with what's in your opponent's hand, because I think this guy forgot I had a guard point in my hand towards later on in the game, and it really, really caught... I mean, it. I don't think that was the single thing that made him lose, but I definitely think that was part of it. So he's going to think for a little bit. I'm going to skip, you know, like five seconds of this. Uh, he's going to think for a little bit, and he's going to end up playing a Vista, which is going to put in a lot of work. Um, here, let me skip this just a little bit. There we go. Plays a Vista. This is going to kill my starter deck, Nami, which is probably the right play, right? Uh, Nami just generates a lot of value. Instead of him discarding a card he doesn't need, like... I don't know, like another starter deck Nami, he'd have to discard an Otama or, you know, a, a, a Brook or something like that. So he's going to swing six at my leader. I'm going to go ahead and take it because I don't want to not have a lot of cards. So we are both at three life now. Um, he plays one Dawn and plays a Otama and he goes ahead and passes um, Having that Otama knowledge guys is also really important I'm not sure why he played that Otama unless he like wanted to do something specifically next turn So he had to like shambles in the correct way But knowing he had those Otamas really like changed the way I played a little bit and I don't And this is actually the turn that I shambles um, And I play three blockers here. I'm gonna think for a second here. I'm gonna swing five at life here He's gonna go ahead and take it his dog's gonna pass by him being all cute and um, he goes down to two life. I'm at three life. I play three blockers. And then I go ahead and use my shambles ability. And let's see what I, I let's see. I'm sorry. I don't want to skip too far ahead. But I pick up the Dadon because Dadon can search me Otama. And Otama can really help in this situation. And I pick up Law. Or I'm sorry. I pick up my Bonnie with Law. And then I play 
back the Dodon. Dodon, of course, like I said, is going to try to search me in Otama, which in this matchup is just so, so, so critical. Um, let's see if I find the Otama here. I... You know, look at my hand for a little bit. I don't remember exactly what was in my hand because this is like, I think, game two. This is round two. Um, I ended up winning both of the Law of Mirror matches that I played, though, so that felt good. Um, I ended up searching a Bonnie. Wasn't what I was searching, what I, what I was hoping to get, but it helped out a lot. Um, and then I passed turn. I have three life left, and he now has a Vista, which is just going to eviscerate me, right? Like, I, I wish. You know what's funny is actually, I remember I did that to Dawn search, and I bottom decked a Vista. I remember that, and I was like, damn it, dude. Like, if I would have. If I would have waited two more turns to search, I would have had that Vista. And maybe, you know, that, that would have definitely helped clear his board. But his Vista, I think, kills a total of like four of my cards. And he was just eating them alive. And uh, it was it was so tough, right? Um, and I think here, he swings for diff like the. I remember at one point, I was up three life to one. And that was actually huge in this matchup because I was just so healthy. Um, so I was never really worried about dying. So I think he swung with like the wrong amount of like Dawn. Um, and I was able to like chump block with law or body block with law. And then like if he attacked again, I think I just uh, blocked. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and s skip fast forward just a little bit because I want to, you know, make sure this video isn't, you know, an hour long because I know this match is a little bit long. So he's just separating his Dawn, of course. He puts two Dawn on Vista and I look at my hand and I'm like, I have three blockers. Why not block with law? I mean, it's not like what is he going to do really? I mean, he has to save two Dawns for shambling. So at best, he's going to, you know, play a character for one Dawn attack for seven with law and I can just body or chump block with one of my blockers um, and that way I can play a character the next turn without having to you know replace a character um, so realistically I'm not really too worried so I should just block this one with law right I do block this one with law right so he has two dawn for shambles he hasn't used Nami's effect yet um, and then he has four characters on the field so he has to play at least two dawn or one dawn for that all right so uh, what is he going to do? I think he's going to tap two and play a brook here, if I remember correctly. And I already knew the brook was in his hand. Um, so even if he plays a brook, I wasn't too concerned. Because um, he can go to eight right here with uh, Bonnie. Or I think he shambles first so he can use Nami's effect. Yep, he shambles first to use uh, Nami's effect, which is smart. Um, get me to use a blocker. So he plays a law. And then he uses a law. And I think he picks up Otama here. So he picks up the Otama and I was super happy. Uh, or I'm sorry, I wasn't super happy about that because Otama is very scary. He plays the Vista. Vista eats like another one of my blockers, I think, or maybe it eats to Dawn. I think it eats to Dawn here. Yep. Um, now, knowing Otama is in his hand, I'm no longer going to turn that blocker law sideways until I know that that Otama is done. I'm pretty sure. Um, so he swings eight. I block with beige because if I ever shambles, I usually pick up a, a, a red instead of a green. Um, so choppers are just more important, especially when he has Vista running around. So Vista has already killed two of my characters. And I am at, I believe, seven Dawn because you made me go first. Um, I lost the dice roll on this one, which is just unfortunate. Uh, so what do I do here? I play a, I play a, a, a Bonnie, which I had in my hand for the entire game. I know that. But this was like the first time I could realistically play it. Um, so I play that, and I search for a blocker law, which was so good, right? I think every Bonnie search I had was, like, hitting a card that I really needed. Maybe not needed, but, like, I, that was, like, really useful. So I play that, and I'm like, okay. Life is good, okay? Search for a blocker law, which means I know I'm going to shambles. So realistically, I only have three Dawn to play with. I think I use my own Otama here to shrink the law to bait him into taking this hit. I think that's what I do. I think I had... I had an option to play Brook because I think I had a Brook in my hand, but I thought that shrinking the law was just better because he'd have to keep either taking life or discard more cards or block with that blocker law. So I think that's just better overall. And since he doesn't have a chump blocker, he's going to have to either take life or discard a ton of cards to get out of some of these attacks. And I'm pretty sure this is this is where he uh I'm pretty sure this is where he discards with Tama here. So I swing six at life here. And I forget what he does. I think I, I think I swing six of life just to see what he's going to do. And I'm pretty sure he gets rid of Otama. I think that's why... No, he takes it. And I'm like, okay, now I'm going to go aggressive. Because since he takes it and he doesn't have a chump blocker, that means I can attack with my law. And he's going to have to discard multiple cards out of his hand. Or he's going to go down to zero life. And if I have a Luffy, then he's screwed. Okay, I didn't search for Otama, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot why I did this then. Wait, I remember, guys. I remember. I'm actually a goofball. Okay, I remember now. What I do is I put two Dawn, I, I search for Brook right here, 
and then I shambles, pick up uh, Bonnie and Nami. I'm sorry, that was the other game that I was thinking of. Uh, uh, or maybe it was maybe it was later in this game. It was it was a six round tournament, and I played I think two or three law mirrors, so um, they kind of blend together a little bit. But I shambles the Nami right here, and then I I play uh, blocker law, and then Brook, and then I attach Dawn to my blocker law, and attack for eight because he went down to one life, so he's either going to discard a two K and a one K. Um, or he's going to do zero life. And I'm at three life, guys. So that's a massive, massive, massive... Uh, uh, that's a massive... What is it called? Uh, uh, life life advantage. So do exactly what I said, right? Play Brook. Uh, Brook goes ahead, puts two Dawn on Law, and I swing eight at life. And because he doesn't have a chump blocker, he has to either counter out or take this life. And he doesn't want to go down to zero because, you know, obviously Law plays Rush Luffy. And that could spell D double O M. Right? So, I think he discards that Otama, which I think that might have been a mistake if he does discard the Otama, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, of course, blocks with Law, right? Um, and then he thinks for a little bit here. Okay, he discards the Otama, which is huge. Maybe he didn't have another 2k. Um because he still has that brook that he searched for. And then he discards a Bonnie, which, I, which I'm feeling great about, right? That felt great. Right? And then I save one for the guard point that I searched earlier, if you guys remember. So now that the Otama's gone, um, that that law is a lot healthier um, than I thought, right? And these two Brook, or I'm sorry, these two choppers are going to come in handy a lot because even if he did have another Otama, I'm still going to be able to um, block with my choppers if I need to, or I'll just let the law die. I mean, the law is not super important in this situation, you know. Like I already have one on the field, I have Bonnie in hand, so realistically, I can just keep trying to either search for laws or, you know, use my laws and then restand them with, you know, starter deck law. There's a lot of different things I can do. I already have two on the board, so I'm in a great spot here. I think I have five cards in hand. I got the guard point. Um, so at this point, I have Nami. I think I have two Namis in hand a guard point and a Bonnie and something else. I forgot what. He swings six at, I believe it's my blocker law here. And then I counter out with a Nami. All right. And the reason I count, so I had I had two Bonnies and two, oh, I'm sorry, I remember. I had two Bonnies, two Namis. And I countered out with two uh, Bonnies first, or I'm sorry, two Namis because I already have guard point in hand. The only thing that Nami can search realistically that I care about is a, is a rad beam. Um, but Bonnie can search for, you know, my Zoros, my, you know, restand laws, my other laws. So I'd rather just keep Bonnie, um, than have the, have the Nami. So I'd rather have double Bonnie than double Nami. I, I thought about discarding the, the second Bonnie or the second Bonnie so I can have one in one, but it felt like that was just a little bit better in this situation. So he's going to swing double six. I'm going to go ahead and counter out with two Namis. He's going to go ahead and play blocker law. And then he's going to go ahead and pick up, I believe it's the Brook here. Yep. Brook back into hand, and he's going to go ahead and play Vista. Vista's going to eat the chopper, which is like, yep, figured that was going to happen. And then he's going to go ahead and put two Dawn, I believe, or maybe it's one and one. Use Nami's effect and put two Dawn on Law. Blocker Law and swing eight. And then when he does that, I'm going to be able to rat to guard point out of this. And I think he saved one up for Rad Beam, if I remember correctly. Even if he swung nine here, guys, I was just going to block with Chopper. So I guard point out, and he saves a Dawn up. Or, I'm sorry, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He uh, removes the Nami right there, and then he plays a Chopper. So this is his first chump blocker all game, guys. And I'm feeling pretty good. I think he has four cards in hand. I think I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm doing pretty good here. Um, and since he only has one life, guys, I know I can be very aggressive, especially because he discarded the Otama. Um, and I'm not really too worried about, like, the crackback because I can all, like, I have three life. I can realistically survive. So I play Otama to shrink the blocker law, the one that's rested. And I'm going to try to just go after, um, I'm going to try to go after hand first. So what I was hoping he was going to do is I was going to swing four here and I was hoping he's going to rest the blocker law. And then I was going to go and try to kill both of the laws uh, that turn. But since... Uh, he countered out of that one. I was like, okay, it's whatever. I uh, put one Dawn on my um, on my leader. And I swing six at the law that is 4,000 because of Otama. And he thinks for a second, and he just lets it go. I'm pretty sure. 
you know, even if he defended this, I don't. I think that was a smart play. If he defended it with Chopper, um, I can do a lot more. I basically, I don't use Shambles. I just let go of Brook, and then I use Bonnie's effect to search for the top five. And I still have four Don up, which means I have uh, two Don realistically to play with. And I find another Blocker Law, guys. So like, I was drawing really well. Fortunately, I had a headache and I was kind of hungover, so I wasn't really thinking clearly in some of these spots of the tournament. I go ahead and shambles, I pick up the Otama, which is so important in the mirror match, and then I play Law, uh, I pick up the uh, Bonnie, and then I go ahead and play, I think it's Otama again, right? If I remember correctly, it could be Zoro, I don't remember what I play here. I think I think for a second, and I'm deciding what, what, what I want to do. I don't remember what was in my hand at this point, so it could be Otama again to shrink the Law. Yep, it was, okay, cool. It was Otama again to shrink the law, and I was going to try to be as offensive as possible because he was either going to bl kill his own law or uh, take the last hit. And I knew that I was very deep into my deck at this point, and I bottom decked two Luffy's early on in that Dadon search, so I knew I was close. So I swing seven at life here, he blocks out of that, and then I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm not worried about dying here. I have two blockers. T I mean, I know you have a Vista, but like you have to play cards out of your hand to shambles it and, you know all that. I swing seven at life here and he decides to take it. So next turn, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty close to my, my non, my bond or I'm sorry, my Luffy. So I can realistically search with Bonnie. Um, I was actually off on my count, which could have costed me. Um, I'm partially blaming that on the alcohol. Also partially blaming it on, I'm bad at math. So <laughs> take, take, take with that what you will. Um, but I'm feeling great, guys. That brook, I'm sorry, all that, the brook and everything to the side of that law is all in the trash, but um, I kind of have my trash in like a funny little spot, but he, he was aware of that brook being gone. All right. Um, I think I move it a little bit too. I'm like, okay, let me, let me, oh, I guess not. Maybe I'm just inconsiderate. So he thinks for a while. I think this is the turn. Let me turn on my fan. It is hot in here, man. It's always, every time I make videos, man, it's like always hot. I hope you guys can't hear that in the background, but so he thinks for a while here and then he goes ahead and plays his Otama, which I, I'm i pretty sure that's not the one that he searched later. I think he got that one from life or for, for turn draw. Um, so he shrinks, he shrinks the law right there and then I think he just attacks into it. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. He swings six into the... He debates swinging four, but I was going to chump block it with, with my blocker law. So he's like, yeah, I'll swing six of this. And I was like, yeah, I'll just let it go. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna waste any cards to, like, save it. I mean, I already have two other laws on the board. Um, I think I have, you know, Bonnie in hand. So realistically, my win condition is Luffy or a restand law or something like that. Um, I don't remember. Let me, let me skip ahead real quick. Uh... He shambles here, he picks up Vista, plays Law, picks up the Otama, plays another Vista, which is, dude, that Vista ate like five of my cards at this point. He kills the last chopper, uh, and then he puts, I believe it's a ton of Dawn, what is it? I think he puts a ton of Dawn on his leader and attacks into my Law, right? If I remember correctly? Yeah, he swings nine at my Law and the Law dies. And it looks like I'm in a bad spot here, but he doesn't have a lot of cards in it. I think he has like four or something like that. And he has two blocker laws and no chump blockers. So he has to like keep discarding cards to save it, right? So he's going to swing six at life here. He has to try to put me on some type of a clock. So that's understandable. Um, maybe it, maybe it might have not been best to do that. But he thought he was a little bit safe here because he had... Uh, he uh, plays down a chopper, I believe, right here. Yep, so he... he Trashes the starter economy, plays a chopper, and passes. Uh, so I'm at two life to his zero. And this turn, I was like, damn, I really got to find that Luffy because I can just auto win right there. So I, I'm literally counting my deck. I'm like, okay, uh, I think at this point I'm seven searches in, which means I'm 30 cards deep into my deck. And if my second search was to Dawn, it, and I, I picked up something off to Dawn, which means it's nine cards deep in. It's nine cards out of that. God, I'm so bad at explaining this. I tried to explain it on stream too, but I I, I, I I, failed to like coherently say it. But I thought the first Bonnie, I knew the first Bonnie wasn't going to hit. 
but I thought the next Bonnie for sure was going to hit. So I got a restand law. So that was great, right? Um, I figured it was going to hit that because I haven't really seen them all game um, with with Bonnie. Um, and then I'm like, okay, this next Bonnie that I have is sh for sure going to hit, right? And then it didn't. And I was like, damn, it was actually the next Bonnie search. So that really could have cost me. But I grab a, Z a Zora right here. Um, and I go ahead. Okay, let me, let me back up real quick. I play film. Or I'm, I play starter deck Brook. I put two Dawn on my leader and attack seven at life. And the reason I attack seven at life is because he has to discard two cards rather than one, right? Uh, if I attack into his law, then he only has to discard a 2k, and I know he already has a 2k because he shambles it back. Uh, it was the Otama. So I swing seven at life here. You either block it or you turn that other law sideways, and then we're on a whole different ballgame. I forgot what I do here, though. I forgot what I do with this Dawn. I think I shambles... What do I do with this Dawn, guys? I don't remember. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I swing seven at life with Law. And then I think he... I think he Otamas and 1Ks out of this. Which is smart. Because if I have... I, I mean, I don't know. If I have Restand Law, then I think I just kill him. Right there. Um, so I swing seven with Law. He Otamas it. And then he gets rid of his Bonnie. And then I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't need to kill you this turn, uh, especially because I don't have the Luffy. I'm going to use Law's Effect. I'm going to pick up... Uh, I believe it's the Otama here, because the Otama is very important in the mirror match. Or no, I'm, in, in this as aspect, I picked up the Brook, because Brook is better at closing out games than the Otama. Um, and if I wanted to use Luffy, and I needed a fifth body, then Brook was better than Otama. Then I played the Restand Law, and then I uh, restood my Law... And then I trashed Otama, and then I just passed. Uh, I trashed Otama to play Beige, and then I just passed. Um, I have two blockers. I have, th I think, four cards in hand, and three of them are 2Ks, and I have two life. And he doesn't have a lot to kill me. So he thinks for a while here, guys, and then he literally just concedes. Um, overall, a pretty fun match. Um, I think I played this one very well. I, I don't really see a lot that I did wrong here, but I also drew really well. Both of us drew pretty well. I mean, he drew his Vista and a couple different law blockers. I drew my law blockers, no Vista, but, you know, I had some good I had some good plays with, like, Otama and, like, just, like, being aggressive when he didn't have his, his chump blockers. So, um, overall, guys, I ended up winning this game. And um, I think I played super well. Um, I'm going to be showing the game that I didn't play so well in. And I'm going to just kind of highlight what I did wrong. Um, I think it's best. I tell my, the people that I coach too. That it's best to review your games. And just kind of figure out if you could have done anything better. Um, and that just makes you a better player overall. Um, and I hope that you guys watching this video. Um, kind of learn a, a thing or two. Um, about what what playing law. When, it, when you both draw well really looks like. And it's a lot about, like, kind of gadget plays, right? So, like, when he discarded his Otama, it really made me, uh, like, be able to play a lot more aggressive with turning my character sideways. Because I knew that they were at least a little bit safer. And when he didn't play his blockers, I was able to, okay, then he has to discard two cards out of his hand, which he might need to, you know, really get the most out of his out of his deck so um just small little things like that ended up you know getting me advantage in the long run and i was able to stabilize and win the game um but guys um i will be posting a lot this week i am very excited for some content i held back for the past couple days because i was just um honestly i was in a really bad mood and um just some life stuff going on but uh also weekends it's kind of hard to post because everyone's like out doing stuff and then the video doesn't do so well and then gets lost in the algorithm and then i just wasted all this time for nothing so um that's why i didn't post this weekend but i will see you guys on my next video and peace out